Welcome back. And today we are with Murthag, and he is bringing us... What's the name of this? Wessel? The Star Reacher. The Star Reacher. Bring it forward a bit more, my friend. There we go. That's beautiful. And there it is. The Star Reacher as it loads in. I'm just going to make sure I get the whole thing. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's all good. It's just a, just a little bit of lag. Makes it all better. So there we go. If you say so. Oh, I say so. Look at that. It's some beautiful lines on this ship. I'm liking yeah. your use of grills and lighting. Um, oh, he's hidden his cannons. That's nice. Okay. I really gonna... like hidden cannons. I, I have to get this out of the way because everybody and their brother is going to be thinking it. It looks a lot like the land speeder from Star Wars. <laughs> it does look a lot like the land speeder from Star Wars. I'll tell you guys but the in same thing I told you then. I did look at the land speeder and was just like, ooh, I can make something out of it. But it, this is not a land speeder. No, it's not. Oh, you can Certainly tell. Not. It's got a, its own unique feel. To be honest, I did a smed it. I did a smed it on the land speeder model, and I can tell you this is nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. It's that distinct front end. <laughs> so, like, tell us a little bit about it, buddy, and uh, do we All need right. to turn his mic up a bit? Probably. I don't know why, but everyone keeps on telling me that. I yeah, it seems to be muffling out every now and then, that's all. But don't panic! Right. Uh, actually, we're kidding. Panic. Like, really hard. This is a really so, nice ship. This is the Star Reacher. It got 37,000... 30, uh, 137,000 blocks in it. It's long of 182 meters. The height is 77 meters and the wall is 133. Uh, I kind of turned that ship a bit into a powerhouse since I got 33 million power in it with a good uh, 1.5 million power regen on it. My trust is uh, one on one when it comes to the, the mass, so it does make it relatively for a fast ship for that size. And. Sadly enough, I don't exactly have that much shield, only 500,000 on it. That's alright. I love the use of lighting with the insets on your hull, though. Mm -hmm. It's glorious. Man, those engines. It's the, glorious. the pods, I have to say, they are absolutely outstanding, mate. I'm really yeah, loving the way that all carries over. It, it took me a while to just get it exactly the way I wanted it. You know, you work on it and you're just like, mm, not sure about this. And you just keep on modifying things. Now, uh, one of the interesting parts is I was, I do have the overdrive, but I did got the iron working on it. So when my iron is activated, even if I don't have much shield, at least I'm only taking like 10% of the damage that I'm Ah. So that does make my ship sturdier, and if somebody tries to use EMP on me to attack my power, then the nice part for me is that, just as I say, I got a ton load of power. So, good luck. Prepared for all occasions. Yep. Now, Very there nice. is another thing, I do love it, that radar jammer that there is around that people keep on putting on. All the time, I just, I just th suddenly got somebody creeping on my shoulder, just saying, "Hi." I'm just like, "Geez, where'd you came from?" Well, now I know how they came from. Right, our genre. Now I was testing a bit around with floating. I know that big ships are not supposed to float, but at some point, I do think that being able to be invisible, even if it's for like a few seconds, can give you a little edge during a fight. Yeah, definitely. You can disappear and do a maneuver. Yeah. Did you, did he, you just briefly he, cloak? He did. He cloaked for about two seconds and then came back. That is 
class. Yeah, <laughs> so he's like tricked out. He's got radar jam, cloak, he's got anti-ion. Yeah. See, that's that's great. We really like to see some of the uh, more utilitarian ships rather than just. Uh, well, um, yeah, go ahead and cool. yeah, go ahead and shoot into the board. It should be home based, so it doesn't matter. You sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, purple guns. Not Very nice. Purple, hard purple. I really love yep. the use of those uh, Nox crystals on this one. One of the nice parts with the gun is I can teach you spot, but I added the EMP on it since I always kept on thinking that if you do take Altar out of, a, of your opener, then you won. Like, no matter what he tries to do, he's out of power. There's nothing to do at that point. You're out of power. Yeah. It's very true. So it's an interdictor then, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or an E-War or something. Do you have any um, missiles on that? Uh, I haven't installed any missiles yet. It, sadly, terminal I have brought a shield still in a uh, ship still in progress. Bring the building to your place. To your lineup. Yep, yep. Well, but that's cool. I thought, I thought that so far, the overall looks of it was getting pretty much at it. Right now, all I'm doing is just tweaking the inside. I got every room for the living partners and whatever else. Pretty much laid out, but not furnished it yet. I... I do have to say that I'm so proud of my hangar on there. Usually ships of those size are not very good at having other ships inside and hangar. And well, it's a nice hangar. I can just keep stuff those inside of it. No, I like it. I'm a big fan of this design. It's very nice. Right, okay, well uh, what's the name of this ship one more time, my friend? Oh, the Star Reacher? The Star Reacher by Murthag. So there it is. Um, if you'd like to send her away... Oh, wait, hang on. I'm just going to have a peek in here. <coughs> and once you finish furnishing it, be sure to bring her back, too. Yeah, make sure. I'd like to do an on-foot tour around yeah, here I with you. Yeah, I have a tendency on really furnishing things so that it really does look like people are really... Are really oh, well, you've done a good job on the entrance to the hangar. It feels good already, so save that for next time so thanks again and thanks to everybody watching and yeah i will see you all next time